happy Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whenever you are watching this. I am so excited to have you here today. It is actually Friday for me and I want to take you on a weekend in my life. It should be a fabulous weekend, not only because I'm going to be doing some cool stuff, but I have a little visitor with me. Ooh, this is Boo. I am dog sitting for my dear friend Julia this weekend. And so Boo and I have been hanging out for a few days now and I have him for the rest of the weekend. So I'll take you on my adventures of me being a dog mom for the time being. And then also I just have some fun stuff I'm going to do. Also some Maybe, you know, it depends on how you define fun stuff because I have to make some returns. I did some online shopping for Black Friday sales and some of the stuff just doesn't fit, but I want to exchange and try some other stuff out. So I want to take you along for that. Also, I want to have Boo and I go to some cute little parks and do some fun doggy stuff. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're going to just vibe out, really. You know, that's what I want to do. So let's get going. How you like your new bed, Boo? You think you can vibe out here? Literally. <laughs> Oops. He takes up like actually like one little bit. <laughs> you are so tiny and cute. Oh. <laughs> Tonight I am going to pole dancing class, so I put on a super cute, sexy, functional outfit to get me feeling good tonight. I'm wearing this matching underwear set from Aerie, and the sweatpants are also from Aerie. Can you tell I'm an ambassador? <laughs> and then this hairband, I'm actually really excited to wear it this weekend particularly because this company, Doggily, reached out to me to send me this hairband, but then also let me know that they make matching hairband sets for your dog, and I don't have a dog, but I was like, I do this weekend so boo and i are going to match i will get those on him at some point so you can see us it's gonna be really cute i'm actually like wow this is perfect and then also tonight i have these leg warmers that i got because i'm still like such a beginner to pole dancing <laughs> and so i don't want to like commit to buy any like shoes or anything that's like a super big investment so i noticed that our instructor when she's not wearing her like big heels she puts on these leg warmers so that her feet can still slide on the ground because if you try to do your bare feet and like which I have been doing, I cannot do literally any of the moves that I'm supposed to do. So I'm hoping that this investment will help. And I paid like $15 for these on Amazon. So really low cost, not really worried about it. And let's get dancing. <laughs> Just finished class. I always feel so good leaving class, especially on a day where I'm really like nailing the choreo and I'm feeling like super cute. And today was one of those days, especially because I had like this set on. And then after class, everyone asked me where I got it. And I was like, Ari, also I'm an Ari ambassador. And I'm like literally obsessed with them. You should buy Ari. And everyone's like, oh my God. And I had like everyone like feeling how comfy the top and the underwear because like literally it just feels like I'm literally wearing butter. It is so nice, especially to dance in. Like it's just so comfortable. So I'm feeling like so energized going into the weekend now, like good vibes. I am clearly ready for bed now. I put on my pajamas. Oh my gosh, I'm actually super, super excited because I came home to these today. My friends at Kitty and Vibe sent these to me for just like a Christmas present and I'm so appreciative for that. I'm obsessed with Kitty and Vibe. They have fully size inclusive swimsuits that they fit literally to the size of your butt. And anytime I hear someone is unable to find a swimsuit that fits them, I'm like, oh my God, you have to shop Kitty and Vibe. But then they sent me this like super cute PJ set because they're making PJ sets now and it's so comfortable and it came with this like button up top and then also a spaghetti strap top and then these cute little shorty shorties and then they also have like full length pants so um I'm like really really happy with these and then I also did my skincare routine and then I'm really excited because at some point this weekend I want to try all these new like skincare products that my friend Katie gave to me so we can test those all out because as you know <laughs> if you follow me on TikTok I have really been trying out new like makeup techniques and just products and that's been really <laughs> difficult for me so We'll see how that goes but tonight was good i came home i made dinner i caught this package 
Also, I got another package I was really excited about. So today was actually me and Dara's one month, aka Ireland boy, if you don't know his real name, but for our one month, this boy who literally lives in Ireland sent me freaking flowers. Like, look at these, they are so gorgeous. And he wrote this like super cute note. Oh my gosh, it was like the perfect thing to come home to after dance class. Ugh. And then we had like our little FaceTime tonight and it was just like really nice. And it was a really like super cute surprise and like way that he went out of his way for me. And I was like, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. <laughs> but I'm gonna go to bed now. I gotta get Boo off into his actual bed, but I think he really likes cozying up in mine. Look how cute he is. But you, you gotta sleep here. I'm sorry, boo. But I got your water bowl for you. <laughs> but I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning. I'm currently out on a walk with Mr. Boo here. It's not like the most sunniest day ever, but it definitely is like a little warmer for the winter time. So I am not mad about that. It's like nine o'clock right now. Um, but oh my gosh, I was super bummed when I woke up this morning because I woke up to a text from my friend who, was, who asked if I wanted to get coffee with her at 8 a.m. But I woke up at 8.15, so <laughs> just missed that. But now, so Boo and I are on a walk, as I said, and then I'm gonna go to the gym this morning and then I'm going to run some errands. And then I also have some videos I need to record for some brand deals, so I wanna do that today. And then we're gonna we're gonna have a good day. I was like, oh my gosh, I have nothing to do today. And then as I'm saying it all, I'm like, wait, that's actually kind of a busy day. So we're gonna finish up our walk, make sure Mr. Boo does all of his pooping. <laughs> and then we can get going. <laughs> I'm going to, st I know for a fact, I'm going to stop at Abercrombie as well as TJ Maxx because I have some returns in here from Black Friday shopping. I got, finally got those like super viral leather pants from Abercrombie that like everyone's obsessed with, but I can't tell if I got the right size. So I just want to go in store to try on the pants, see if they fit me. And then I'm going to stop at TJ Maxx because my job, my nine to five job um, is doing a secret Santa and it's on Monday, so I need to get something for my person. But I've got everything in my little tote bag, and let's go shopping! I just got my pants exchanged, and I also found like so many other things that I want to buy and there's two reasons that I'm saving for home. One, I have a gift card at home that I want to use and two, anytime I find things in store that I like, I always go home and buy them online because they're always like running deals online so you're always going to save if you do that. And then two, I'm a big user of Rakuten so if you don't know what that is, essentially it's just like a little plug-in that you add to your computer and then you get cash back every time you shop. So I like get money back every time I buy online. So I'll find out if it fits in store, then buy it online. So another hack. I did not find what I was looking for in TJ Maxx. So I actually think I'm just gonna stop at the grocery store and get some chocolate bars because then I will be hitting the $10 limit. And my person wrote on their little survey that they really like chocolate. So that'll be easy and back to the car. I don't know why, but I always like to take these stairs when I'm in this parking lot. Even though the last time I did that, I did see human feces. But I like to get the extra little cardio in, and here we are. Baby, 
Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Hi, cuties. Okay, so last night I ended up coming home. I ended up making some easy mac and cheese, specifically the new Cheetos like version. <laughs> it was actually really good. I had the jalapeno kind. I just wanted an easy dinner and like didn't really want to make like a full on meal. So just had some easy mac, went to bed and walked boo of course. And so this morning, it's a little bit more of a lazy morning. I got up pretty late. Well, I stayed in bed just FaceTiming Dara for <laughs> like an hour or two. And then we finished up and now it's a little bit like rainy dreary outside. So I, I wanted to like perk up with some coffee. So I still think I want to go walk to a coffee shop with Boo, but we will see how that goes. Well, I should say, and we'll see how that goes. But what I thought would be perfect today is like I said, I wanted to try the, ooh, you little antsy. I wanted to try the little like hang, mac, matching handkerchief. <laughs> and uh scrunchy from that company like i said so this is like what i got sent it's this scrunchy which actually i'm obsessed with like the scrunchy itself really good scrunchy it has that like extra fabric thing it reminds me of like those caitlin bristow scrunchies from her line what's it called like doing it i've never like used them but this is the vibe that it's giving me and then it came with this handkerchief and I think it came in like two different colors and maybe three different patterns and I opted for this one with like the stripes and then also it came with this tie I'm thinking that you can put like the tie or the handkerchief on your I really should look this up but it seems like I could I could wear this or boo could wear this and then this handkerchief is a little bit teeny so I'm thinking that it is more for boo but could wear it as like you know a neckerchief or something so I'm not looking at a mirror or anything but you know let's just do a quick little like messy bun situation usually I don't like try too hard when I'm doing these I just really wing it and with this like since it's a nice like little scrunchie I'm only gonna do it two times but then that's how I get like my messy my messy bun look just one one two times around and then just half loop through and then I have my silly little tail and then I want to try to put this cute little thing on Boo. I think I might need to do it while he's like chewing on his little bone. I am no expert, okay? Also, I don't really know much about dogs because I'm still new to the whole dog situation. I've never dog sat before. I was very lucky that my friend Julia really trusted me with her precious little Boo. I'm sorry, what? That is so freaking cute. <laughs> We're not here. Oh, I gotta show you for a second so the camera can see. Oh, look how cute he is. And then we match. We are gonna be the cutest peeps at the coffee shop, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, we're gonna go to the coffee shop now. Also, I'm wearing just like a super chill fit today. I'm wearing a sweatshirt that I got when I went to Big Fair for the first time, which is like a snowy fun town, mountain town. In California, my new Goryana earrings that I got for Christmas. Obviously, my dog is scrunchy. And then I have on some airy. <laughs> Don't worry, boo, we're gonna go for a walk. I have on my airy uh, leggings, which I really need to lint roll. And then also my Steve Madden sneakies. <laughs> okay, we're going, we're going. It definitely did rain earlier today. As you can see, it's like super wet and everything, but it's not raining outside and we made it to the coffee shop. So Boo and I are gonna go warm up now with some lattes. Okay, so here we have all the goods. And I just sat down, we have Boo over here. Actually, I was really excited because we just ran into my friend Caitlin and she had her dog. She was also getting coffee, so that was really nice. But this is super cute here because they have this like home market set up today. So I think also I'm going to stop around after and like look at some jewelry, see if I find any cute things because I have been looking for a good like snake chain necklace because I don't have one of those and I really, really want one. So fingers crossed, we can find something cute. So I did end up making a purchase at the little market. I shopped from a business called Shop Desea, 
and they made like custom handmade jewelry and it was all like 14 karat gold and freshwater pearls so i got this cute little dainty necklace and i also got these earrings i've been looking for earrings that are like this that have like a hoop with a little drop down and the woman who owns it was selling me the jewelry and she was so 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 nice like i really appreciated like how kind she was and gave me a little discount too and so i got these both together and i've been like trying to invest in better jewelry and that's why too i got those like goriana earrings the other day but then when i saw this business i was like oh it's so nice to shop in my community and buy from an artist that's in the local la area so i was just really excited about that purchase and i can't wait to wear these out everywhere drove out to the westfield century city mall it's like actually a really really nice mall here in la so i'm really excited except i have to hop out of the car really quick because they only have one hour free validated parking which is super annoying <laughs> it's like really expensive after that so i need to hop out really quick but i'm here so i can stop at steve madden and then also i'm gonna stop at africa mayfitch again because um, so both both of those for Steve Madden, I'm super excited because for a Christmas gift I got the Hutch Sand Suede booties and they're super cute except they run a little big so I want to get them in a size smaller and I called ahead and they said the size is available and I could do a quick swap so super excited about that and then for Abercrombie I got their like mid length teddy coat also for a Christmas present but then when I went to Abercrombie yesterday I saw this trench coat that I thought was like super cute and is actually exactly what I've been looking for for a larger coat so. Um, I'm going to exchange it for that. So it's going to be like such a perfect fit. Both of them they are going to look really good together. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then also I was just really happy <laughs> or I should say I was feeling nostalgic driving here because I started re-listening to this old podcast I was obsessed with when I lived in Orlando and then I have always just like gone back to it when I've been wanting to explore a little bit more of myself it's this podcast called horrible decisions and it really is about like exploring yourself sexually and just learning more about like that whole like realm so it's super fun like the two hosts are really like silly and goofy and but are really like knowledgeable so i was listening to that on my way here and yeah so if you want to give it a listen let me know what you think um but now i'm going to return all my stuff and let's see if we can get it done in an hour <laughs> it's actually like so packed today but we made it baby oh my gosh literally obsessed okay that was super easy they were really really nice i went inside of the nine it did not fit so i was like okay nine and a half is gonna be my best bet and they were like really really nice gave me expedited shipping for free see this is the christmas cheer that i love so much and now i'm headed to abercrombie and as you can see this mall is like literally so nice like they have all these little seating areas i'm literally obsessed with it and oh it's an outdoor mall kind of but you can have dogs and so everyone always like brings their dogs everywhere here <laughs> and i love that we made it to our second location time check we have about 30 minutes before my free parking runs out so let's make this return quick <laughs> made it to target i was able to make all of the returns i needed and got free parking so excited about that and then made the quick drive over here i had a snack in the car i had one of those go go sweet apple sauces and then also i have an rx bar to eat and now i have to buy my secret santa gift for my coworker, which i never did yesterday and then i also wanted to get additional like christmas decorations for my apartment so now we are in the christmas aisle and always um i'm obsessed with like christmas candy so will i probably get a bunch of these christmas tree reese's yes because i'm obsessed with them um <laughs> but i also always feel like i find like the cutest random stuff like here in target like in their like christmas section but i feel like also it might be like totally sold out because i did come here a few weeks ago and um yeah it already looks like it's been like run through so we'll see if i can find anything extra <laughs> okay i didn't get everything i needed but i did get some stuff and of course it's target so i bought more than i needed but i'm getting these little gift bows as well as this gift wrapping paper i'm getting like an assortment because it's always good to have options obviously like i said had to get the reese's trees because i need that <laughs> this is going to be for my secret santa because they said they like chocolate and orange as well as this candle because they said that they like things that smell like melon so i was like oh my gosh what a perfect candle and i like the smell too so i'm really excited about that and then also i got this planner this is the same planner i had last year if i can 
I'll like show you. This is the same planner I have. I love that it comes with like these little stickers. And then it has like this for the, the whole month. So you could see that out. But then I really like that like every week, not only does it have like the section where you can like write everything out, but then also it has the to do's where you don't forget and has that all there. So every week I like to write like my goals and stuff. And then I do that monthly too. So it also has the year on there. So that's what I got for 2022. I'm going to keep it up for 2023, but this one's pink. My other one was white. So I am happy about it. I just started making dinner. I did all of the dishes you can see here. So there's just like a pile. They're going to start drying. And then, as you know, I'm like literally obsessed with HelloFresh. So tonight I'm making this plant-based protein ragu rigatoni bake. I did have to read the full title apparently. This is my first time getting a plant-based meal from <laughs> HelloFresh. And I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous because this meat literally looks like brain. <laughs> Like, it does not look delectable. So, I'm going to report back how it tastes. But sometimes I do like eating vegetarian, even though I do like meat. I'm obsessed with chicken. But I sometimes just like eating vegetarian because I just, I don't know. Like, you know, if you ever have a hankering for just more vegetables or just not eating meat? That sounds really weird as I'm saying it. But I bet some of you relate. So, if you do, okay, now I'm trying to like... Okay, there we go. I want to sleep down. But sometimes I just have a hankering for meatless meat, I guess. So we are going to see how this turns out. I'm hoping it's edible because I'm going to use the leftovers for work tomorrow. Ta-da! Okay, is it hot? Oh my god, yeah, it's really hot. I broiled this. But it doesn't look too bad. And it actually smells really good. So I'm excited to try this. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Let's get a bite with like everything on it. Gotta get some cheese. We got meat. Okay. Mm. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's not as dog foody as it looked. It looked, it looked not appetizing. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe it's a specific brand, meatless meat, because I did actually used to be a vegetarian, um, for a whole year. So I have eaten my fair share of plant-based meat, and I do like to be vegetarian sometimes, as I said before. But I don't hate it. It actually tastes pretty good. Looks negative three out of ten for the for the meat taste. This is pretty good. I'm. This is a solid meal. I am happy. Who <laughs> just got picked up? Which I am pretty bummed about. I already miss him a lot. Like I keep finding myself going to go check the closet to see if he's there <laughs> and he's not and he's so sad. Um, also, I think I forgot to mention this earlier, but I broke a nail while I was cooking and I was actually pretty pissed off because I went and got this literal nail fixed a few days ago because it broke and now it broke again just a few days later. I'm like, oh, excuse me. But anyway, now I have the house all to myself and I'm going to finally try to do that skincare that I said all <laughs> that I said at the beginning that I wanted to do like all weekend. I had had this sitting here on <laughs> my, I had all my new products sitting here on my kitchen sink. So as I was walking by every day, I was like literally seeing all my products and I was like, I want to try them. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm getting a little, I think I'm ready to take this jacket off. <laughs> so. <laughs> Let's do skincare together. Okay, also do I have anything in my teeth? Okay, I didn't brush my teeth yet. So. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you everything that I got first so you can see. This is the Goop Glow. This is a peel mask. I was looking at this. I'm not gonna try this tonight because there are two other products I'm going to try, but it's something, it's a peel mask that you leave on overnight so you don't even wash your face after you put it on. You put your mo moisturizer on over it and then you take it off the next day, which I thought was super interesting. And I've always been really interested in trying Goop. So, Goop, cause that's a, uh, what is that? Gwyneth Paltrow. And I don't know, I'm really intrigued by her. She has a lot of intriguing stuff. So, and then this is a brand called Allies of Skin. And this is a moisturizer. It says it's the peptides and antioxidants firming daily treatment. This is what this looks like. So this is just a moisturizer I'm really excited to try. Okay, so for what I am going to try, oh, actually, 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so out of order. Uh, one other thing that I'm also not going to try today is this Super Goop SPF. I actually do use Super Goop already every day, except I use this and it's the 40 SPF and this is the 50 and it comes in different packaging. So I'm going to try this another morning because I'm not going to put on SPF before I go to bed. So, okay, as I was saying, next we have this Peach and Lily Moisturizer, specifically Glass Skin Water Gel Moisturizer. So I'm going to try this today, and I'm excited because this is like a salmon pink, and I like pink, so excited about that. Then we have this Dermalogica <laughs> Biolumin C Eye Serum. So essentially it's like under eye drops. And I looked this up online because it came with these, okay, I don't know what to call these. It says cooling eye wand. So I'm gonna pop this out to like, see if I can do it right. Okay, so I think you put this little ball in here. Yep. Oh, it's like a magnet. <gasps> Whoa, okay. And it said, Oh, oh, the orbital bone. Okay, I looked this up. It said you gotta use it before or after you do the product. So I guess it doesn't really matter the order, but you use it around your orbital bone, which is like this whole area. Like it's the thing that keeps your eye in a socket. It like holds your eye up. So apparently it like helps with lymphatic drainage because that area is what holds in like when you have dark circles and it's like toxic buildup. So if I use those, I'm gonna use it after I use the product probably. If I do that, then it should help clear everything up. So now that I've explained all the cool new stuff I've gotten, let's actually like do the skincare source. I'm going to use my go-to cleanser, which is Cetaphil. And I never know if I'm pronouncing that brand name right. So if you wanna let me know in the comments, if I'm completely butchering that, let a girl know. <laughs> I'm like having so much fun learning skincare, but I also know that like the community, the skincare community is like big and y'all are loud. So I wanna make sure I'm doing y'all right. <laughs> and that's also why I stopped using makeup wipes because I used to be really big on makeup wipes and I would use like the Neutrogena ones because I really do love Neutrogena. But so many of y'all told me that makeup wipes are not the move. And I'm not gonna lie, I do sometimes use them, especially when I'm like traveling and stuff and I don't have everything I need. But I knew that <laughs> I knew that y'all would come for me, so you will not see any makeup wipes here today. <laughs> okay. Now that I'm all cleansed, I am going to tone. Let's hope that I have <gasps> I have one pad left. I really need to go shopping for more. But I just got this recently. The Mario Beduscu, <laughs> I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, Witch Hazel and Rose Water Toner. So I'm using that next. And I just use that everywhere. <laughs> oh, but my toner, I haven't been like super like aligned with one specifically. I've been like switching it up and it's cause I wanna try like new things. But also I have to say skincare is still relatively new to me. So I can't say I'm like married to anything except growing up all I did was use Clinique moisturizer, but I have been using new ones and like seeing actually there are a lot that are also really, really good. So I'm very like open on the market to see like everything that's up. So then next I have been using the this Drops of Youth Serum that I got from yours and I really, really like it. They gave me like a whole custom skincare situation and so it came with that a whole a.m. and p.m. routine so I've been really liking that and I just put this on right after my toner and then rub it on in with my fingies <laughs> oh hang on we got a little eye situation and then also I always get like into my neck I think that's what like the pro skincare people say to do get that into your neck okay so then after I do this is when I'm going to do my eye situation. Oh my God, oh no. <laughs> my hands are like too slick. Oh, just kidding. It's because it was a twist top. <clears throat> okay. <gasps> okay, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely use this. So I'm doing that. So that's there. 
Is this, I think this is supposed to brighten and tighten my skin. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I feel like I've read it verbatim. It says vitamin C eye serum brightens and firms the eye area. It says apply under the eye and along the orbital bone morning and evening. Keep out of eyes. I can do that. So I just put that on under my eyes. So then I'm going to rub it in here and then I'm going to rub it in up here. Sorry, I keep not looking at you. I'm going to look over here actually at this mirror. So that it feels less like I'm, I'm avoiding you because I'm not. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what the heck I am doing. <laughs> okay, does that look good? I think that looks good. And then we're going to do it on this side. Mm, rub that in. Very cooling. <laughs> Fixing that lymphatic, <laughs> those lymph nodes. Get them going. We want those toxins out. Goodbye, toxins. <laughs> Okay, I feel cooled. It also came with two of these, so I feel like you're supposed to do two at a time, but that seemed difficult, so <laughs> one at a time it is. So now that I did my eye serum, then I would do moisturizer, and then also what I always do when I am doing moisturizer is I combine it with self-tan drops because I like to tan and I like to look tan and I haven't done my full body tan in a minute and I really need to do that don't feel like doing it tonight <laughs> so tonight's not going to be that night but I will and so my face is going to look glowing and tanning which is like all you need especially tomorrow I'm going into the office so oh this is not what I was expecting I should have expected it because it said water gel but I haven't ever had a moisturizer that looks like this okay Okay, Peach and Lily, let's see what's up. Whoa. Okay, that actually feels like really nice. Okay, let me drop these tan drops on my skin first before I give like a actual like full verdict. So I can get the whole thingy done, but like, whoa, that feels really nice. Yeah, that's like going on well. I like that. I really like that moisturizer. Mm. Okay. I'll recommend. I mean, obviously I'm going to have to test it out for longer to see like how it reacts with my skin and stuff. But after first use, that feels really nice. I'm digging it. Mm. Heck yeah. Okay. So then after I use my tan drops, I always wash my hands. So that means too, in the morning, I'll put on sunscreen after I do my moisturizer. So I wash my hands before I do that. And then also before I go to get bed, something that I always do is apply all of my lash enhancing stuff so I can have nice, long, beautiful lashes. I use Grande Cosmetics products. So this is going to be the Lash Enhancing Serum. I put this above my lash line, so I'll show you when I do that. And then this is the Leave-In Lash Conditioner, and I put that on essentially like mascara. So this, it's kind of like eyeliner. You put it on just like this over the eye. And then the same thing on the other side. And here we got the lash conditioner. And then I also do the bottom lashes because you want those nice, nice and full too. And yes, I do the weird mouth thing. I feel like everyone does, but then there's like this weird shit about it. But what else? Now that we have skincare done, I just need to brush my teeth, finally take my socks off. I don't know why I still have my socks on. I usually do not walk around with my socks. Um, and then I need to pop into bed and get ready for sleep. Probably gonna scroll on Twitter and TikTok. I have a new book that I really wanna start because I do really like reading, especially self-help books. So if you have any book recommendations, let me know below. I would love to hear what I should read next and I could tell you all my thoughts about it. But thank you so much 
for following me along this weekend. It was so fun taking you with me and getting to chronicle <laughs> my adventures, but I'm so glad you're here again. And if you aren't following me on TikTok and Instagram, make sure you follow me at Leanne Healy. And I love you so much. Mwah! <laughs>